Right guys, as I said, I'm going to do a separate sheet for this challenge bit that you've got at the end here. This is where we've got more than one letter involved, okay? And each letter has got its own value. So this is our question one set and then our question two. So for all of question one, that's these ones, okay? Wherever I see an A, I'm going to replace it with four. And wherever I see a B, I'm going to replace it with two. So instead of saying A plus B, it's now going to be A becomes four. B becomes 2, I get 4 add 2 equals 6. And that's it, first one done. On the next one, A is 4, B is 2, it now becomes 4, subtract 2 is 2. On the next one, remember what we said, when you've got a number and a letter together, it means they're multiplied. So this means 2 times A and then add on B. So I do 2 times, remember A was 4, plus, and B was 2. So big mass, 2 times 4 first, that gives me 8. 8 add 2 gives me 10 as my answer. Okay, if I look at the next question, I've got 3B, that means 3 multiplied by B. So I've actually got, if A is 4, I'm adding on 3 times and B is 2. Bid mass means that I do the multiplication before the addition. So I've got 4 add stays where it is. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 add 6 is 10 again. Okay, now remember when we've got letters together, just like when we write a number in a letter, there is actually a time sign in between. So it actually means A multiplied by B. So A multiplied by B, well A is 4, B is 2, 4 times 2 gives me 8. Okay, now 2AB, that means what we're actually doing is 2 times A times B. So I've got 2 multiplied by A is 4 multiplied by B is 2. So I've got 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. Then I multiply that by 2 again. So 8 times 2 is 16. And then our last one, again, I've put a negative one in as a bit of a challenge at the end. So you're doing minus 3 multiplied by A multiplied by B. So I do minus 3 multiplied by A is 4 and B is 2. So ignore the minus for a minute. 3 times by 4 is 12 and 12 times by 2 is 24. And then if we think a negative number times by a positive, well, that's still negative. OK, using our number rules we had at the top. And then if I do a negative times a positive, it still stays negative. So it's minus 24 is my answer. OK, last set of questions. This time we're going to do everything again, but with five and one. What I would say is, again, if you're getting onto this task, pause the video at this point. Have a go at the exact same questions, but using A equals five and B equals one. And then all you're going to do is have a go at the questions, play the video and just make sure that you're getting the answers right. So going through the answers, A is 5 and B is 1 this time. So 5 add 1, we get 6 again. Next one, you've got A is 5, B is 1, but it's a subtract this time. 5 take away 1 is 4. Hopefully the first two actually not too bad. This is where we start getting multiplying in there. So 2 times A, which is 5, and then add on 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 gives me 11. Okay, and remember at this point we're now following big mass all the time. A plus 3B, so A is 5, I'm adding on 3 times 1. Big mass says that I need to do the multiplication bit first. 3 times 1 is 3, so I've got 5 add 3, I get 8. Last few examples, A, B, well, A is 5, B is 1, so 5 times 1 gives me 5, that's that one done. Next one, 2, A, B, well, that's 2 times 5 times 1, so 2 times 5 is 10, times 1 is just 10. And then last question, again, be very careful with your negatives. So I've swapped A for 5 and B for 1, so... 3 times 5 is 15, times 1 is still just 15. A negative times a positive means so far I'm negative, times a positive again is still negative, so I get minus 15. 
and that's it done those are all of our examples so be very very careful on the challenge section at the end feel free if you like to do the first column and work a column at a time if you find that easier because you're repeating the same idea each time before moving on to the next one again any problems message me on show my homework